Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Nitin Gokhale. I am a consultant cardiologist at the Leelawati Hospital. I have been associated with the Leelawati Hospital since the year 1997. As I have grown, I have also seen the hospital grow in leaps and bounds. Uh, my special interest is clinical as well as intervention cardiology, mainly clinical cardiology. I am also a teacher at the National Board of Exams at Leelawati Hospital for, for cardiology. We have had almost 25 to 30 cardiologists who graduated from this institute under our care and I have been privileged to have been one of the teachers involved in the teaching program. I am also associated with other hospitals but I think Leelawati has been the premier institute as far as I am concerned. As far as heart disease in women goes, see this is one of the most undertreated, under evaluated and underestimated diseases in the country. One of the reasons is because the presentations of heart disease, especially coronary artery disease in women, is very, very atypical. A large number of women come to us complaining of all vague complaints, vague chest pains, breathlessness, palpitations. 80% of the time it is taken as psychosomatic. In the metros, especially in Mumbai, because of awareness and education, a large number of upscale women get investigated. But most of the people who, are, who do not have access to med medical facility in the, in the tier 2, tier 3 cities and in the rural areas or even in the low socioeconomic strata in India, especially in, also in Mumbai, especially women, they do not get investigated for the same and many time, many a time we underdiagnose or we misdiagnose a condition. One of the commonest problems with chest pain with women is that because of the atypical presentation, when we investigate the patient, we find that there is a condition called as small vessel disease. By small vessel disease, we mean that on further investigation, right up to angiography, all the investigations are abnormal, the angiography turns out to be normal. And then we label it as psychosomatic most of the times. That is not the case. What exactly happens is these patients have something called as endothelial dysfunction. That means the smaller arteries, the smaller blood vessels are diseased. And because of that, these patients keep getting repeated episodes of chest pain. Almost 30% of women have this problem. And the only way to diagnose is to investigate. So my earnest endeavor is to investigate all women who come to us in a step ladder fashion, get to the bottom of the problem. Those who have coronary artery disease are taken up for further investigation and treatment. Those who have small vessel disease are treated conservatively with appropriate medication. It is also noticed that coronary artery disease in elderly people, elderly women, traditionally women are protected up to menopause. But that's not the case in, the, in, the, in, the, in this part of the century. There are various reasons for that and we find that even younger ladies have got coronary artery disease. So, especially in elder persons in which the protection is lost, the incidence of coronary artery disease is very high among women. And we also find that traditionally the outcomes, the long-term outcomes of treatment of men versus women in this age group, the women fare much more poorly than in men. So this is extremely important, especially in this age group, to investigate. The third problem with heart disease in women is non-coronary artery disease. That is valvular heart disease and disease related to pregnancy. Now, this was a common problem occurring in rural India earlier and in the earlier decades where the, mo the mortality of pregnancy used to be very high because of pregnancy-induced hypertension or women who have valve heart disease, they used to succumb during pregnancy. Many times they go undiagnosed and diagnosis could be made only during pregnancy. With proper treatment and proper investigation during pregnancy, all these things are now brought under control and we have found that the mortality and morbidity associated with pregnancy-induced heart disease in women is also very less. The third problem which confronts women with heart disease is genetics. We have also found that genetically, women who have a high propensity for heart disease family history they fare very poorly and genetic positivity, a patient who has a family history of heart disease, especially in women, the outcomes are not as great as those in men. So these are the three keen aspects of heart disease in women. In our country, the awareness is increasing, so investigation is increasing and coronary and non-coronary artery disease needs to be treated in a very, very positive and aggressive way. Thank you.